Hello everyone, this is Rin from Designs by Rin. I'm going to show you a different technique today for watercolors um, using mohair wool to create texture in the background. Kind of has the effect of uh, wormwood or woodworms. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got some uh, mohair wool. I'm using Strathmore watercolor cards and I'm using Delusions ink sprays um, for my pigment. You can use watercolor paints, Tombows, any water-based paint's fine. And I'm cutting off a piece of wool, and because this wool has a different fiber in there as well, it's just a metallic fiber, I'm pulling it out. And I'm just going to use the mohair part. So here's a close-up. I'm showing you all of the different fibers coming out of it. Not my inky fingers. So we're going to start off by using the Delusions ink sprays. And I'm just spraying it on, a little bit of brick red, yellow, and I decided to use some brown just spontaneously. I didn't show that in the first shot. And a little bit of green. Now Delusions ink sprays have a lot of pigment to them, and I don't want to waste any of that. Here I'm just spritzing some water on the edges. So I'm using another card. I've actually, this is one card that I've cut in half. Um, don't like wasting paper, so I'm pressing down the other side of it. And you can see it's just as vibrant on that card. So I'm just picking up some leftover ink on the board there, or on my crafting mat. And I'm putting that aside for a different card. So this is the one I'm going to use for this project. You can see how wet it is. And I'm just going to push down the wool on top of the wet surface. It's actually not wet enough, so I just spritz it a bit with water. Now you're going to want to make sure that you push down all of the little fibers, because that's the part that's going to make the pattern. So just go along and try and get it as much contact to the surface as you possibly can. doesn't really matter the pattern because you're not going to see it as clearly defined as um, you're seeing it now with where the wool's going. Okay, and when you're happy with it, you feel like it's pressed down enough, just leave it to the side and wait. Um, don't use a heat gun to dry it off because that's just going to blow away your, your yarn. And drying it quickly doesn't um, doesn't let the pattern really set. Uh, there's something about waiting and letting the water just push around the pigment slowly. And as you can see there, I didn't wait long enough. It was uh, still wet when I pulled off the yarn, but I was impatient. So that's the end result. So if you look closely, you can see the ghost images of where all the little fibers were touching the page as it was drying. I really do like this effect. I think it's really neat. And I actually came across it by accident um, because I had a cat who really enjoyed hanging out with me while I was creating. And one day she just shed her fur all over my artwork. And when it dried, I discovered this great technique. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching my second tutorial. Um, you really motivated me with the first one to do another one, so thanks so much for the support. I'm going to include my links down in the description, so please do feel free to connect with me there, and I will try to get another video done soon. Bye for now.